Hi, I'm Robin with Images of Austin here in Austin, Texas. Visit us on the web at imagesofaustin.com. Hi, today we're going to talk about shadow box. Seeing this spoon that's a relic that you can also get yourself at the Capitol Bookstore here in Austin, Texas. But anyway, first you have to attach this to its backing. Before you attach it to its backing, you want to make sure your backing fits your frame, like so. Okay? I'm going to do that today with a hot glue gun. Now you take your hot glue gun, you add a little bit of glue to the back of the object that you're going to shadow box, and you just center it onto your backing. Now, while that's setting up, we need to cut a piece of glass to fit this frame. Okay, we've cut our piece of glass. Now you want to make sure that it fits the frame. Now I'm going to cut the shadow box sides. In this case, I'm going to use the same color for the sides as I am for the backing. You could do a contrasting color if you want, but I'm going to use the same color. To do that, you have to take your mat board, your backing, and mount it to this foam board. To do that, I like to use just some sort of liquid glue and a little roller, and then I lay this down like so. Now, you let that set up. Now we're going to figure out how deep we want to make our shadow box. I like to use a ruler that's cut off at the one inch mark and use it to measure from the glass to the back of this frame. In this case, we have three-eighths of an inch. Now, before you cut your sides, you want to make sure that your object is going to clear that space so that it doesn't touch the glass. Now to cut our shadow box sides. Now first, I want to get a nice straight edge to start off with. I'm going to use this. gives us a nice clean edge. Now remember we said we were going to make the sides of our shadow box 3 8 of an inch and we need four sides because of course a frame has four sides most of the time. So here I go measuring and making a mark every 3 8 of an inch. Marks at the top and marks at the bottom. Now we've cut all four of our sides to our sh shadow box. Next thing that we want to do is we're going to want to cut them to length for each side. What I like to do for the first two is line it up on top of the edge of this frame and just make a mark where each cut is going to be. And I usually label which side is going where. This is going to be A. Same thing for each side afterwards. It's a good idea to go ahead and put in two sides first before you cut the remaining two sides because the remaining two sides have to go inside of the other two sides. Okay, now that our glass is clean, I'm going to drop it back into the frame and I'm going to use a little double stick tape I'm going to do side A first. We've completed our shadow box sides. Glass is not coming out. Now, the next thing we want to do is take what we're framing and lay it down on top. All right, now we want to gently put in a few clips. And it's holding it in. Now we're going to finish up the back. Take our dust cover. It can be any kind of paper. Get down to the back.
Well, we have finished the back of our picture with our dust cover. Now all we are lacking is the hanging device on the back. I'm going to use this large sawtooth and finish it off with some information about who did it, where it came from. That is our shadow boxed spoon. That wraps up framing this spoon. Now remember, if you can't come to me as your framer, be sure and find a good one, one that you can communicate well with, and be sure and hang the picture straight. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.